Only on 12 News, mysterious underground creatures popping up all over the state. The massive monsoon rains we had over the summer have prehistoric creatures making a comeback after lying dormant for decades. Team 12's William Pitt shows us hidden Arizona creatures lurking under the surface. There are creatures underground in northern Arizona waiting for a chance to come back to life. We had a couple of visitors that were like, hey, you guys have fish in the in the ball court. And we're like, what? Park ranger Kathy Cooksey says that's because this, an ancient Native American ball court at Wapatki National Monument north of Flagstaff, never has any water in it. There were no fish. These guys are teeny tiny. Instead, there were these things. But there you can see some of its legs in there. They're called triops, tiny crab looking things. If the pond lasts long enough, they can live up to 90 days. The pond did not last that long. They died in a few days, but hopefully long enough to pass on a new generation of triops. And their eggs can stay underground for years, if not decades, just waiting for the next storm to hatch. Then they hatch, grow, hopefully lay more eggs, and die all over again. It's just another example of long evolution. And they've been doing it over and over for longer than humans have existed. They are known as ancient fossils because they haven't changed at all. <laughs> These are tracks of what? We don't know, but <laughs> it could have been something like a triops. About 100 miles away are the ancestors of the triops and a lot of other animals. The petrified forest near Holbrook had little creatures like this millions of years ago, but they also had things that were much, much bigger. Sometimes, you know, when you're dealing with dinosaurs and all the rest of it, the more things change, the more they stay the same, too. That's right. Dinosaurs are hidden in the high desert, hundreds of kinds. So many, they don't even know what they have here. These guys had a hook at the end of theirs for doing something. We don't know what. The rest of it, who knows? This one, a prehistoric crocodile relative. And this bone, they don't know what it comes from, but it's older than anything you've ever seen. It's the earliest known dinosaur fossil in North America. It's mind boggling how old things are out here. And the triops, or something a lot like it, was probably there to see it. <laughs> Seeing a triops out in the desert is pretty rare. Kathy Cooksey may never have gotten the chance at all. I could have been here for, you know, 20, 30 years and not have seen these guys at all. And it may take decades before anyone sees them again. William Pitts, 12 News.